to the space flight set to make history around this time tomorrow, if all goes according to plan. SpaceX is sending four civilians into orbit without any astronauts. But that's not the only reason that this launch is expected to be history making. ABC's transportation correspondent Gio Benitez is at the Kennedy Space Center with more. Tonight, SpaceX prepping to launch an all civilian crew into orbit, what could be its most groundbreaking launch yet. Four civilians are set to orbit the Earth with no professional astronauts on board, going farther than any other private citizen has ever gone for three days. SpaceX was founded on the belief that a future where humanity is out exploring the stars is more exciting than a life where we're not. The mission funded by Jared Isaacman, a 38-year-old billionaire who bought four seats, which typically sell at 55 million each for an undisclosed amount, giving three away to fundraise for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Getting a seat, engineer and Air Force vet Chris Zembrowski, geoscience professor Dr. Cyan Proctor, and Haley Arsenault. As a child, she was a patient at St. Jude. Now, she works there. The fact that I'm going to be the youngest American in space really is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. And Dr. Proctor will become just the fourth black American woman to go to space. I have this opportunity to not only um, accomplish my dream, but also inspire and inspire the next generation. Lift off. This launch just months after these high-stakes flights. Um, and... We've been to space! <laughs> excuse us, excuse us. Yes, got those wings. Three, two, one, release, release, release. Virgin Galactic's Richard Branson, the first to launch his own spaceship to the edge of the atmosphere. What did you hear, what did you feel when that rocket ignited? Um, you could hear the roar of the rocket pinned into your seat. You're going straight up, going from 0 to 3,000 miles an hour in seven or eight seconds. Jeff Bezos lifting off a week later with his company, Blue Origin. These billionaire space flights are not without controversy and criticism. Beyond the spectacle, some question its timing and safety. When you hear that criticism from folks who say these are just joy rides for very rich people, what do you say? Well, I would say that uh, if I go right back to when I was a child, uh, I started with uh, $200, and that $200 has now built a space company, has employed hundreds of wonderful engineers and scientists, and that technology will trans help transform the Earth. Tomorrow's SpaceX flight is risky. SpaceX, which was founded by another billionaire, Elon Musk, has never sent its crew dragon this far into space, 360 miles above the Earth's surface, way farther than Branson and Bezos and even the International Space Station. The only thing that's different here on this Dragon capsule is they took the docking mechanism that uh, would normally connect into the International Space Station and they put that, that cupola, this, this beautiful uh, ability to, to look around when they're uh, up in space. So I, I think that's the, really the only change. Other than that, that whole Dragon capsule is the same one that NASA certified and flew their own astronauts on. Virgin Galactic was grounded by the FAA after it learned the rocket had left its planned route for almost two minutes. It is now under investigation by the FAA. Virgin Galactic telling ABC News that high altitude winds changed the ship's trajectory, adding that at no time were passengers and crew put in any danger as a result of this change in trajectory. And at no time did the ship travel above any population centers or cause a hazard to the public. We will continue working closely with the FAA. They want to sort of be seen as this luxury brand catering to, to you know, to, to the rich and famous, but they are still very much in the, in the test phase of the program. Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, also criticized for funding a spaceflight program after a bombshell ProPublica report alleging wealthy individuals legally avoided paying their fair share of taxes. I think that even the cynical people and even people who shrugged and said, yeah, sure, we know that wealthy people don't pay a lot of taxes. I hope they were shocked today to learn that Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, had two years recently, 2007 and 2011, when he was a billionaire and he paid zero in taxes. And Elon Musk in 2018, zero in federal income taxes. Bezos thanking his workers and his customers after the Blue Origin launch. I also I want to thank uh, 
every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer, because you guys paid for all of this. <laughs> But despite these concerns, experts say the SpaceX program stands alone among its peers. What Elon Musk has done is to, uh, to create this new Starship rocket and the Falcon 9 rockets that he's doing now to have a very reliable way to get things into space very cheaply. And that is going to be critical. To get ready for weightlessness, the SpaceX crew boarded the Zero-G plane here on Earth. And so did we. This is how astronauts train. Wow. On the Earth's surface, I weigh 175 pounds. Up here, zero. Zero-G inviting us on as pilots fly the plane in specific maneuvers to replicate the microgravity of space. Oh. That feeling of being in zero gravity is so unique and indescribable. And you don't want that first experience to be when you're you know, in space and things like that. You'll be disoriented. Now you might be asking, why is any of this important? Well, Elon Musk has said that he wants humans to eventually have a second home on Mars and that this is a first step to get there. So this launch is scheduled for tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, and we will be right there. Lindsay? Geo, thanks so much. And you can catch that historic SpaceX launch right here on ABC News Live. Geo and the entire team will be joining us. Our coverage starts at 7.30 Eastern tomorrow. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.